let's start with next question explain meaning and functions of a secretary of a joint stock company let's start with the explanation part a joint stock company is a trading organization which is owned by many individuals that is members by contributing to the share capital of the organization which has a large membership huge capital perpetual succession and limited liability now here if you talk about joint stock company there is no restriction on number of members that is a joint stock company can have millions of shareholders so a company can raise huge capital and if you talk about joint stock company they have perpetual succession that means they have long term stability because though there is depth of shareholder or director it is not going to affect its overall functioning and shareholder has limited liability that means whatever amount of shares he has purchased to that extent he is supposed to pay so his personal property is 100% secured now let's start with functions duties of a secretary of joint stock company let's start with functions related to the administration point number 1 appointment of employees distribution of office work among the employees and getting it done within allotted time that is to give work to the people ensuring the work is done effectively and within stipulated time point number 2 supervision and strict control over the office staff to ensure work is carried out systematically and again within specific time limit next point looking after recruitment selection training promotion and other personal problems of the staff now when we talk about recruitment it is basically source from where you will get people for your organization there's a paper me ad diya people will apply so yes giving ad in newspaper is definitely one of the source of recruitment so whenever people will apply that is recruitment but those people will apply among them best person will be selected they will be properly trained and the people or the number of people who are able to perform best they will be promoted as well as secretary will ensure that certain problem with reference to job is also resolved on time next point keeping the various statutory books yani books which are required to be submitted to the register of the company they are called as statutory books and registers as well as common seal which is the signature of the company under his custody so that no information of the company is leaked out next point introducing suitable measures for an efficient flow of office work and maintaining discipline in the office next very important work of secretary of a joint stock company is coordinating the functions of various departments seen in organization there are so many departments and all these departments are interrelated so secretary will ensure that there is proper coordination or synchronization of their efforts to ensure organization achieves their specific goals or targets next is statutory functions company secretary has to prepare and maintain certain statutory books and registers as well as when we talk about point number 2 filing of various returns and statements balance sheet and other documents with the register of the companies within appropriate time limit or else if these documents are not submitted then company will be penalized they will have to pay fine for it under the income tax act a company secretary has to deduct income tax from the salaries of the staff and pay to the income tax department which is again a compulsory act 
under many other acts such as stamp duty act shops and establishment act sales tax act etc he has to comply with the provision of the acts any whatever acts we are seeing on the screen a company secretary has to ensure that company will match will follow the requirement or each and every norms clause which are mentioned in this act a company may have their various shops various branches so they need to have shops and establishment you know certificate they need to pay stamp duty if required or sales tax so all these taxes or their compliances has to be matched from time to time next point is business of the company does not violate the provision of the companies act violate means they should not break anything which is specifically given in companies act or any other law or the provision of the articles and clauses of memorandum of association now articles and memorandum of association they are two most important document and each joint stock company they have to follow comply all the provisions under this both important documents next is functions related to the shareholders conducting general meeting of the shareholders such as statutory meeting which is first meeting of shareholder annual general meeting which is conducted every financial year and extraordinary general meeting this meeting is conducted as and when situation demands so yes all this type of meeting has to be conducted every year or as and when situation demands next is making arrangement for an application applications means we are talking about whenever a particular person wants to purchase shares that particular person has to fill in application form allotment that means whenever company company's director receives application they will allot shares to the applicant and if shares are allotted that applicant will receive allotment later colon shares colon shares is the amount which shareholder is yet to pay on the number of shares he has purchased transfer of shares yes in a company you can purchase shares whenever you want and voluntary you can sell shares you can transfer shares transmission of shares when we talk about transmission whenever a shareholder dies his shares are transmitted to his legal heir distribution of dividend distribution of dividend we are talking about is the income on the number of shares a particular person is going to purchase so yes dividend is income for shareholder issue of share certificate share certificate has to be given to each shareholder and it is a documentary proof ki aap wo company ke shareholder ho supplying information copies of the document on demand yes certain documents as and when it is demanded by the shareholder it has to be given now we are talking of functions related to directors yes secretary has to ensure that all the board meetings are properly conveyed normally there are four board meetings in a year next is even secretary of a joint stock company has to ensure that notice and agenda of the board meeting is sent in proper format even secretary will assist in framing the policies of the company and he will act as a link between board of directors and the staff so whatever problems staff may have he will take it to directors and directors will resolve that problem next point he has to submit reports and statement of activities of the company yes it has to be submitted to the registrar of companies secretary will also execute that is implement whatever decision they are taken by the board and that to again within specific time limit